What's going on YouTube? This is Marcus back for another video. I'm here to do my review for Basketball Wives Season 7 Episode 8. I know the review is super, super late, so I'm going to try not to make it too long. Um, so pretty much this episode was kind of like the aftermath of Tammy saying what she said about um, Evelyn lying on Chad as far as the domestic violence situation. Now what i will say and what i would like to know is what else transpired between the back and forth with evelyn and tammy because for them to go from saying oh you're a liar no you're a liar and then for tammy to just pop out and say well you lied on chad it seems to me like there there was a piece missing like there was something that was said said for her to bring that up so it's pretty much, like I said, the aftermath of that and all of the ladies at this point are kind of like standing around in the parking lot. Um, you know, Evelyn was saying that, you know, I feel like at this point me and Shawnee are the only victims. Evelyn feels like she's owed an apology. Tammy says, well, you know, I only apologize to my friends. Um, no, that's not what she said. Well, Tammy basically, Tammy says, well, you've made it known multiple times that me, you and I are not friends. And so I'm only going to, the only person I owe an apology to is my friend who is Shawnee. Um, and so Evelyn, which I don't, I, I don't agree with that. I feel like whether somebody is your friend or not, if you say something out of the way to them or say something that's disrespectful or hurtful, you should apologize to him, to them, regardless of whether they're your friend or not. Um... An apology is universal. It's not based off of the type of relationship that you have with somebody. Um, so, I'm just going to, certain, certain, I'm not going to talk about OG and the double date she had with Tammy and Reggie. Um, I'm not going to talk about the sit down with, with Malaysia trying to get, CC and Kristen. Well, what I will say as far as that situation is concerned, it seems to me that Kristen is so hell bent on trying to be in the in the circle, hell bent on these girls being her friends that um she's gonna lose somebody who really is a true friend to her because y'all seen it on on seasons past where you a new girl comes into the circle trying to be these girls' friends and then they end up do uh doodling on them in, at the end and i think that's what's gonna happen i feel like before the end of the season jennifer is gonna turn on Kristen, um and she's gonna realize that cc was the only true friend she had to begin with so so tammy and evelyn excuse me tammy and jackie sit down because that was jackie's whole thing that you know she because she you know did say that her and tammy are close and they're friends but, you know, she wanted to talk to Tammy and see where her head was at because she just feels like Tammy went a little bit too far. So, when they sit down, Tammy's whole, Tammy's reasoning, reasoning is that she had a conversation with Evelyn where Evelyn told her that the headbutt was an accident. Which, if you tussling and wrestling with somebody, it's not, you know... It's not. It's likely that something like that may happen. But then at the same time, it's like, girl, y'all must have been wrestling pretty hard for him to have near about split your forehead open, and you got this scar on your forehead. Either that, or he got a real hard head. Um. My issue with Tammy is because, like I said last week, as a woman, that's something that you should never say to another woman to try to blame her for her domestic violence situation. Um. And then for in this episode for her to say that she's been in several domestic violence situations and because you and because you've experienced that personally y you would think it would make you more careful about how you try to put the blame on somebody else because if the shoe was on the other foot and Evelyn came at you with that saying like girl that man would hit, hit you hit that man first that's why he hit you you know you would feel some type of way you would have been upset now what I will also say is this A, a woman should never put her hands on a man and then want to cry wolf when the man hits her. 
But at the same time, a man should never put his hands on a woman. And I feel like if you in a relationship, now every relationship they have problems and they fuss and argue. But I feel like if it ever gets to the point where you feel like you want to put that, put your hands on that person, y'all don't need to be together. Because, I mean, it can turn ugly real very, very, very quick. Um, So... You know, eventually Tammy goes into saying that, well, maybe I was wrong for saying what I said. I'm like, it ain't no maybe. One of my coworkers just texted me, why am I doing both lines and drive through girl? Anyway, I'm all, I am don't go in until 2 o'clock. I ain't studying about McDonald's. But anyway, and I'm like, it ain't no maybe. Yeah, you was wrong for saying what you said. Um, so then she goes into talking about how, um, you know, that she, the she but pretty much she's starting to see that these women ain't really not her friends. She was like, I've been support, you know, you know, doing. It's like they, they keep trying to get her to go b back to where she's trying to go away from. She was like, I've you know, I've kept quiet. I've got up and walked away. I've supported Shiny, supported these other women. All they do is throw dirt on me, talk about me, and it's funny that she's saying this because some of the other YouTubers that I watch. Uh, James Colwell, Color Me Pink, they've also mentioned the fact that these girls were never really Tammy's friend. You know, she's always going to be that chick from the project. Because mind you, when she when when the show first started and Evelyn and Jennifer and Shiny were on the show, they were already, you know, kind of, I guess you can say established. They had money or whatever. But when Tammy came on the show, she was, you know, had on the, the raggedy clothes, the, the tacky wigs and all this stuff. So, you know, they always looked at her as like this hood chick from the projects. Um, I don't feel like even Shawnee, I don't feel like Shawnee was ever really, uh, Tammy's friend, like, talking about it. Um, and it's funny how roles switch, because if y'all remember a couple episodes ago, Tammy said in her confessionals, I don't think, Sha I don't think that Shawnee and I will ever get to a point or be in a place where we're not good. But now it's kind of like, she's kind of, like, treading lightly around Shawnee, too. It's kind of like, now she kind of sees Shawnee. You know for who she really is um but I, if i'm not mistaken i think this is tammy's season last season anyway so she's kind of just over all all of them anyway um but that was pretty much all i wanted to talk about um now i don't know how many more episodes we got but i can't wait to see i, I can't wait to see when malaysia uh try, tried to jump on jennifer and she picked up that table and threw it at her i was like girl malaysia go off um which and, and, and even with that being said, I want to see what happened because it's been a while since we've seen Malaysia almost get the last time we really <coughs> mm, excuse me the last time we really seen her get physical with anybody was season one episode one when she swung on Laura, but other than that you know she ain't I mean she's had arguments up but she ain't never come that close to you know getting physical with somebody so I I can't wait to to when that comes out so we can actually see what transpired. To make her go off the way she did. But anyway, y'all. Um, like I said, the episode, I'm already late. And the episode really didn't give a whole, whole lot. So I didn't want to make the video super duper long. But y'all comment. If there's something that I... If there's something that I didn't talk about that y'all want to talk about, of course, you know you can leave it in the comment section. I do read the comments and I respond to them. Um, but be sure to like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. And click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I do uploads. Also, be sure to follow me on my social media, which will be in the description box down below. And also, if you missed any of my previous Basketball Wives reviews, the link to that playlist will be in the description box down below. And I will talk to y'all later.